Hi guys, Greg Doyle, 8 Sleep Boxing Repeat uh, Prediction video time uh, The fight that I want to talk to you guys about today is the MTK Golden Tournament quarter final fight between um, Ryan Walsh who is 24-2-2 two and, two, and he takes on Cuban Heron Socaras who is 22 wins and 3 draws um, so I'll get right into it guys I've had a quick look at um, Socaras and it's it's a really difficult one because it looks like your typical classy Cuban but when I look down through his record and I've seen some of the guys who he's been drawn with I'm thinking how's that possible because I've seen some fights of him and it looks as though he throws some really nice flashy stuff um, so the fact that there's been three times on his record already that he's been held to bouts even rings a couple of alarm bells for me but he is only 26 he is learning all the time and as I say at times when I've seen some of his fights he looks mesmerising some of the shots that he throws if you watch Cubans they do throw a really really nice jab upstairs and straight shot downstairs and um, they're all fantastic at it I don't know if that's something they may be teaching the academies but um, Sukaras is good, very good at it as well um, he's very very quick and he looks as though he, he can punch a little bit as well so if you're going to beat Ryan Walsh I would say that you've got to use your speed if you can certainly have a bit of pop in your shots that's that's going to count for you as well so those are the positive things that I could probably say about Heron Sukaras and then on to Ryan Walsh um, who seems to have been around forever um, Ryan's 33 now and he's had a generally successful career um, I do think that at one time, maybe still could now, Ryan could go on beyond British level. Um, he has been round about that level for quite some time now and I get it that he did step up to European level and um, Dennis Salen outpointed him and I know that that fight was on the road etc and he got the draw with Isaac Lowe so there has been little setbacks here and there but most of the time when he's came up against it he's delivered the goods. Um, a win that I think is very, very underrated um, Ryan Walsh is his last fight where he beat my fellow countryman Lewis Pollen. I've seen Lewis Pollen a number of times and Lewis Pollen is a very good kid um, very, very good boxer Lewis Pollen and it was a really, really close fight I believe it was maybe even a split decision on the cards um, between Walsh and Pollen the right man probably won in the end but it was a very, very good fight um, but in his last few fights now, Ryan has been getting like your draws, your split decision wins, winning but winning late, etc. in fights. And at 33, that's got to catch up with you at some point. But will Friday night's quarterfinal be the time? It's very, very difficult to say. Um, very difficult to say. I've heard that Ryan may be struggling to make the weight as well. Um, but as you get older that's normal and we see guys who struggle to make weight and they still go on and deliver big performances I think sometimes it's a bit of a myth that if you struggle to make the weight then you're going to underperform not necessarily as long as you get the right hydration and the right food in your body afterwards um, Ryan as I say also is a very very skilled fighter um, it can box rings around you if you're not on your game and he's got a lot of experience in that shows and his performances nine times out of ten as well um, but on the prediction video all the time as i say that's the the why we're here uh, to for the prediction again it's one of those fights that i've really been back and forth between and how i think it's going to go i can see sakaras giving walsh trouble early and um, possibly put him down possibly hurt him I just don't think if Sakara's struggling with some of these guys on his record then I don't see what he's going to do to beat Ryan Walsh I think it'll be tight I think it'll be hard very hard at times for Ryan Walsh but my th prediction for this Friday's fight is for Ryan Walsh to outpoint Sakara's over 10 rounds um, as I said at the beginning of the video my name's Greg Doyle I write for Eat Sleep Box and Repeat you can check us out on Facebook Twitter Instagram why not check out our website as well thank you